rocks that he can pull down Main Street. Well, he's certainly a big man from a small town. He's going to need tremendous leg drive and bicep and shoulder power to get these 25,000 pound trucks down the course. He's 6'7", 375, known as German Godzilla. And he is off and rolling in the Monster Jam truck pull. Looking pretty smooth here, Brent. Keep in mind, Godzilla is making his first ever appearance at World's Strongest Man, and this is his first event. I don't see any butterflies or jitters out of this guy. Not at all. Part-time strongman, also a legal expert at a federal employment agency. Trying to find his way to the finish line, 22-meter course. The clock nearing 45 seconds. Slow and steady wins the day. This is where you have to really dig deep and find it because everything in your body is aching when you get this truck close to the finish line. Gordzilla trying to get to the finish. And there it is. Just past a minute for the German. And he seems more than satisfied in this his first event at World's Strongest Man 2019, as you mentioned. Well, after a long, strong pull to start, Wardzilla used impressive technique and coordination to set the bar at a little bit over a minute, checking to see where that finish line was as that rope swings side to side. And now the defending champion from Iceland, half Thor Julius Bjornsson, finally getting over the hump last year. And he is a mountain of a human being, plays the mountain in Game of Thrones, the worldwide popular series that just wrapped up. And here he goes to begin his run to defend his title at the 2019 World's Strongest Man. Just a straight machine, Brent. You saw how quickly he got those two Monster Jam monster trucks past their initial inertia. He almost seems to be accelerating here. Great body lean, those big arms pulling on the rope, those big tree trunk legs with some great push. He is blazing down the course. This is how you get it done. In his ninth World's Strongest Man, trying to get to his ninth World's Strongest Man final. And he looks good to begin the qualifying round. Well, Brent, this is an event where mass matters. And at six foot nine, 441 pounds, Hathor's the tallest and heaviest athlete in this year's competition. Look at that time, 34.36 seconds, absolutely demolishing the bar set by Gordzilla just before him. Smooth and consistent all the way out. Hathor looking to make another strong push for another title. And we check in for the first time out on the course with Jenny Dell. All right, Thor, you say you usually get nervous before the first event. How important was it to come out and perform like you just did? It's super, super important. I felt so strong all the way through. Yeah, now we just wait and see what all the guys do. You got the win last year, number one, world's strongest man. Do you feel added pressure coming back in the competition this year? To be honest with you, I don't. I felt a lot more pressure. I was always pledging second, third, second, third, back and forth. You know, I have such a huge support system. And I felt like I was always letting it down each year. Now I'm a lot more relaxed. I am the current champion, so now I just have to do what I do best. Looking to be a champion yet again. Great job in the first event, Thor. Thank you so much. Zake Maluzi, representing Great Britain, originally from the African nation of Malawi, making his first World Strongest Man appearance, part-time strongman. He's also the branch manager of a rental car company. And he resides in Scotland with his wife and son, and here he goes in the Monster Jam truck pull. Could you imagine getting a fender bender and returning your car late <laughs> and have to deal with Malusi? My goodness. Pretty good start for this young man, though. Got a little bit of a wider base, which is a technique we don't see very often in this event, which requires everything you have to be synced up, working together. Malusi seems to be a little disjointed with his technique here. He played American football in Scotland, and his coach nicknamed him the Malawian Monster. Right now, he's got a couple of monsters trailing him in the form of these massive trucks, and it's going to be tough for him at this point to get across the line. 
This will check your want to right here. Everything in your body is in pain and aching. Your muscles starved for oxygen. But look at Malusi, unwilling to quit the heart and determination, but just not the gas in the tank. Never really Aaron was able to find that rhythm that we always talk about in these pulling events, whether it's pulling monster trucks, cars, airplanes. And that's a tough one for Malusi. No question. The effort and strain were there, but this is an event that requires the coordination of the entire body. The rookie did his best, but the 25,000 pound welcome wagon really took its toll. So now Rob Kearney from the United States, 5'10", 285, lives now in Massachusetts. And uh, one thing about this event being in Bradenton, Florida, the crowds are amazing out here for the first event. And you know they're pulling hard for the American athletes. Well, we talked about the fact that this is an event where mass matters. Kearney's only 5'10", 285 pounds, so he's at a distinct disadvantage based on his muscular structure. However, he is one of the pound for pound strongest competitors here. And look at that powerful leg drive and big arms pulling on that rope. After a little bit of a slow start, he's got a nice rhythm here. Making his third appearance at World's Strongest Man, trying to get to the final for the first time. Now he's starting to slow down a little bit. And this is the part of the course where it almost looks like it starts to go up. A little bit of a bobble there, but did a nice job of keeping his balance. But this is going to test him here towards the end. This will test anybody. This really highlights that, Darren, that Thor was able to put up a time of 34.36. Think about that. Just amazing. Half Thor never really broke stride. And all the credit goes to Kearney. He's not giving up here, but you just wonder how much he's got left in the tank. Kearney straining, trying to get to that finish line. And the whistle blows. Time limit 75 seconds, and Kearney checks out. So he goes into fourth place, taking the monster truck a distance of just under 19 meters. Kearney's as strong as an ox, but the punishing poundage of this event eventually breaks him down. But I was really impressed with his athleticism to get back on his feet and keep going. Up next is Luke Stoltman, representing Great Britain. This hides in Scotland, his fourth time the world's strongest man. You heard in the power profiles, he expects to make the final this year. Been impressed with Stoltman over the years, just seems to get stronger and stronger. Power is not a problem for this Brit. His best finish has been third in the group, and all three of his previous times the world's strongest man, he has placed third in the group, so just out of qualifying for the final. That tight base is starting to cross over on itself a little bit, but he regains his rhythm. We've talked about that, how important that is here. And Stoltman pulling on that rope with those big pipes and those strong legs doing an excellent job of pulling these Monster Jam monster trucks down the course. The short, choppy steps. It's not bad. I mean, it may not look as good, but he's still got a pretty good rhythm. And as long as those tires are moving, you got a shot. You have to be willing to endure some pain to complete this 22-meter course. And Stoltman showing us what it takes. 55-72 to his knees and then all the way to his face. That tells you everything you need to know. I'm fine. Easy. <laughs> I guess he's fine. Easy, he says. <laughs> he moves into second behind Thor. Well, Luke showed great endurance and upper body strength pulling on that thick rope. Even gets his tongue out for good measure, and it seemed to work. An impressive second place finish in this event. So half the Julius Bjornsson picks up where he left off last year and takes the Monster Jam truck pull. The first event for qualifying group number one. Luke Stoltman, still an impressive time of 55-72. He gets second. Gord Zillick in his World's Strongest Man debut takes third. Malusi and Kearney unable to complete the task.